I want to go to the river. I used to say this to my dad every day after his work. So we could go out explore a little bit more. Those moments were really important for me because somehow the spirit of adventure was growing and growing along the way as the adventures were getting bigger and bigger. I used to watch my dad doing cliff diving and feeling that was the most incredible thing in the world. My dad left home when I was 15 and I started to focus more on my friends. I had this friend in school that was also a free spirit, just like me, he was doing parkour. That was the first time that I heard that name and without knowing, that name changed my life. My friends started to be parkour friends, my thoughts started to be about movement. I started to see jumps and gaps everywhere I walked through. Everything I wanted to do was training. My mom was worried about those adventures didn't lead me to a safe path. Ele tinha uma barra, pôs uma barra na porta do quarto dele, que aliás até me fez uns buracos na parede, que era onde ele se treinava. Outras vezes dava com ele no quarto com uma uma porção de livros em cima uns dos outros. Mas nunca uh, deixei de, de o apoiar porque eu via que realmente era uh, um sonho muito grande que ele tinha, porque ele não falhava dia nenhum que não fosse treinar. You shouldn't do things for the reward they bring you. You should do them, because there is something inside you that drives you to do them. And back then there was no gyms, there was no classes, there was just a few people in the world doing it. And you will to learn it and improve it, figuring out how basically everything works, within hours, days, months, years to master it. And it changed that knowledge with other people from all over the world. In 2011, my best friend bought me a ticket to Berlin, where were happening the Parkouring World Championships, so I could participate in a Parkour World Class competition for the first time. The experience was exciting, meeting all these people from all over the world, so much skill together, and I can't remember a single day that we didn't train. In the competition day I was so nervous, but at the same time, I was filled with so many good vibes that I didn't felt that I was competing. I did my best and I came first place. Obviously a good feeling, but that was not the feeling that made me so in love with this sport. You know, like, passion doesn't come from things you can do, it comes from overcoming things you once couldn't. And that's parkour for me, overcoming myself every day a little bit more. I think, I think joy is one of the most important things in parkour because if you just force things to happen, they will not go fluid as you, as, and natural as they could be. So I think every time you go out to explore, to train, to do whatever you want to do, just enjoy it. Make sure you're enjoying it and doing what you love. Otherwise it's not worth it. You, you spend your time doing things you don't like and you don't improve because you're not even enjoying it. So make sure everything you do, it's because it came from inside you and then you try to put it outside and in a form of movement, in a form of whatever you want it to be.